Hello everybody and ahoy and welcome aboard the Good Ship Retro once again for a roundup of pickups from this past weekend. Um, you may have noticed that I still haven't had a shave. Well there we go. Too busy I'm afraid. Um, so I'm sort of experimenting with a could you throw spare change at this person if they sat in the middle of the street type look. Which I think is working for me I'm going to be honest with you. Um, Hello, how are you? Hope you've all been well. Uh, nice to see you again. Firstly, a <clears throat> a big, big thank you to everybody who's watched the last two videos that have gone up. Um, yes, 30 odd something views, which is a record for all the stuff I've been doing since the start of this year. But it's great that people have actually sort of uh, tagged on. Thanks for all the comments and the subscriptions. It's been really, really good to get some feedback. And I'm glad you've enjoyed them. That's what it's all about. Um, I've also taken on board a couple of opinions from, from certain people who um, sort of said, well, you know, you are DTL Presents, hello to you, thank you very much for subscribing, um, who sort of said, wouldn't it be a good idea if you did like two or three minute snapshots of actually the games you play? Um, and I'm going to give that some thought because that would be a rather good idea. The problem is it's the time sort of taken to do that and also um, other bits and pieces. But I did take on board your, I've taken it off there now, it was the... Um, to uh, sort of play a bit of Alias on the Xbox, which you saw my last Pixel Pick Pickles video, that would be what I was talk talking about, and he wants to see some video footage of that. So we can do that, that's no problem at all, I just need to play the game a bit more and get a bit good at it, and then I can actually do a video. <coughs> so I don't want to sort of put my poor game playing skills onto YouTube, um, because basically it wouldn't be very interesting, would it? I don't know. So, this weekend, again, uh, conversing with uh, that UK gamer, hello to you, um, saying that this weekend I was hoping to do what I was going to be classing as an epic troll, which is why we got the title of the video, um, The Epic Troll. Um, what I wanted to do start this year, going back to March, April time, when I started doing the videos, but also um, trying to ramp up my collection bits and pieces over the weekends, was to go somewhere a bit different somewhere a bit out of the way so I actually found myself without giving away my location <laughs> not that I, I want to be found out but um, without sort of giving too much away um, there's a local train station to me and I sort of went to the end of the line which is actually a, a big city sort of about 30 miles or so away from where I live and the idea was down that way there's one city and a couple of small towns and I would like to have done the city and the two small towns I ended up doing the city and then because time was against me skipping the one town which I really wanted to go to and then we end up in another one. But as you will see, it wasn't exactly a wasted journey. Um, and I'd like to try and do that once a month if I can. Just go a bit further afield, somewhere a bit different. Because as I said before, the stuff around here is getting a bit tight now. Um, less and less of the bargains uh, being done in the charity shop, and more and more stuff coming from CX. This, what I'm going to show you here, is a mixture of some charity shop stuff. Uh, some stuff from CEX, some stuff from cash converters, and also a uh, independent sort of cash converter type thing, but it's not called cash converters. Um, I don't even really want to say the name of the shop in case one there's only one branch that they know where it is. Now, it, it's one of those sort of places. You know, it's not cash generator. It's something very into that. Uh, we've got a couple up by us. Uh, we used to be cash converters, and they're sort of independently run, and they're always a good source. You can always find good bits and pieces in there, but um, sometimes you've got to be a little bit careful on the quality. Right, so. Uh, and the completeness as well, and we'll get on to that because there's a couple of red herrings this week. See, this is the whole point of knowing your collection when you go out. Um, I have a uh, my collection on a spreadsheet on my phone. That sounds really sad, doesn't it? <sighs> I really, sh yeah, yeah. That's when you start taking stock of your life, when you start putting stuff on shelves like this, and then you catalogue it by um, keeping it on a spreadsheet on your phone and on your tablet as well, just in case. Um, and in fact, that really, I should say. He really needs a twatting, I'm guessing, rather than a trimming. Um, and the fact that everything behind me is in alphabetical order, going like that. Yeah. We can do that another time. I'm, I'm going on a tangent once again. So, this is a real mixture of stuff this week. I get there's a couple of real sort of like cracking mistakes in there as well. Um, and some good stuff. So, let us start. And I'm just going to fiddle with this. Just give me one second because I just realised I haven't set the power mode. So, this is when people sort of say to me, you should edit your videos. Why? Because classic moments like that will not be included. We're off and running. Original Xbox time. Just the one this week. Um, this is Pirates, The Legend of Black Cat. All sort of jokes about um, Abel Seaman and bits and pieces went through my head before I started doing this, but I'm going to go 
and sort of say, I think I'm above that at the moment. We'll go with a, it's nice and complete. It's actually got a bit of a pink tinge to that disc there. Um, I paid two quid for that from CEX purely because it's in the back, be a pirate. I mean, how could you not want to be a pirate? Um, great, so I've got quite a few pirate games there. Pirate Quest for Blackbeard's Booty on the PlayStation, no, on the Wii. Um, Sid Meier's Pirates on the Wii. I've got Jade Empire on the Xbox. There's quite a few games involving pirates and knocking around, so. But just the one Xbox this game this week, which is a bit disappointing. Um, let's do PlayStation 1, because it's always going to get a PlayStation 1 gaming, even if it is Jet Racer from Midas Software, which cost me the grand sum of 99p. Uh, this was out of that uh, independent, not cash generators, or cash converters um, place. You can see you've got the manual in there. Uh, it's all complete on the inside. Nice clean disc as well. It was actually marked down from 4 99 to 99p, which is a, a real bargain. Um, but also, for those of you who do collect your PlayStation 1 stuff, the same people who made this game are responsible for Chris Kamara's Street Soccer, so not exactly a... Uh, you know, not up there with FIFA or um, or even Gaza Super Soccer to be honest with that. Chris Kamara that famous to actually have a game made about him. Yes, he was. Not at the time he wasn't, because he was still playing. It's only since he retired. Isn't it? Anyway, that's that's for British viewers. People who are watching this abroad, you have to do a search on on whatever internet thing. Um, right, a lot of three sixty stuff. Now um, you can't see the three sixty. I've sort of obscured it behind me, sort of below Basil, um, Basil Brush there. A small selection of games. I'm probably now getting to the point where I've actually run out of space on that shelf, and that's really worrying because I've got nowhere else for it to go. And I'm really not tidy up in it. I'm beginning to think some other stuff needs to be packed away. We'll have to see about that. Anyway, um, let's move on. So, 360 stuff here, um, and we'll start with cash converter stuff, which is Dead Space. Um, never actually play. I've got Dead Space Extraction on the Wii again think retro my friend over in the States we had a little bit of a conversation about um, Dead Space Extraction being a really good on the rail shooter for the Wii um, so this obviously a completely different game that was £1 no 99p actually 99p. God. these labels they're terrible and sticky residue on these I have to clean these up afterwards I also got Need for Speed Undercover which I think now I own on about three different formats. I think going on the PlayStation 2, the Xbox 360, the Xbox, and the Wii. I've got four versions of this now. Didn't cost me 24.99 either. I can't get that bloody thing off. Um, complete though, and that was again 99 pence. I do like the Need for Speed. I've got a lot of those across all different formats. Um, bit of a tatty box this one, but this is Halo uh, Combat Evolved Anniversary Edition. Um, this cost me one pound ninety nine. I think it's four quid in CX at the moment. It's all complete. Um, I actually thought it was a newer game than actually what it was. Uh, I thought it was actually a newer release, but turns out it's not. It's actually seven years old, which goes to show how up to date I am. That's why I'm not called up to date bear, I'm called retro bear. Anyway. Um, Army of Two, which is also on the 360. This one cost me 49 pence. Wow, 49 pence. You can't get anything for 49 pence nowadays. You can't, I've tried. Well, apart from anything that's like got 10p written on it, but it's it's so cheap. It's so cheap. Um, never actually played that, so it'll be interesting to go. Um, I'm not really going to get into this one, which is the Elder Scrolls V Skirim. Um This cost me 99p. Incomplete though, no manual, and apparently there should be a map included in this, and there's no magic map in there. Again, I had a conversation with somebody about, a um, very brief conversation about um, Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind, which was got on the original Xbox. I've got the Game of the Year edition, which does go for uh, quite a few quid. And I picked, it up for, I picked it up for 20p in a charity shop. Can you believe that, 20p? And I sort of got home and I thought, well, I don't know, I've never heard of that one before. And then when I sort of looked in further into it, the Game of the Year edition sort of at the time, I think, was fetching... If you went and bought it from CEX, it was like they were asking 28 quid for it. They seem like it's about 25 now, but it's still, you know, I'll pay 20p for it, it's great. Um, you may remember the last video I bought Connect uh, a few weeks ago, so I've now been buying Connect games. I'm not going after a full set of Connect games, but I may end up doing Some of them are still quite expensive. The Disney Land one goes for about 5 quid, I think. Um, and even the Star Wars one's about 3 quid. Uh, this is complete. This cost me 
29 pence, even less than 49 pence for Army of Two. This cost me 29 pence. All nicely complete. I don't know if it's any good or not. Uh, boxing, track and field, um, soccer, or football, as we call it over here. Uh, table tennis, beach, volleyball, and championship bowling. It sort of sounds like a bit of a, a Wii Sports thing. Well, it is a Wii Sports thing. It's just called Connect. Oh dear. Bit of indigestion there, probably because I bought that game. Um, and because I bought that one, I must have bought that one as well, which is Connect Adventures. This one, 10p, which is the cheapest game I have ever bought. I've never bought anything as cheap as this. 10 pence. You can't buy anything for 10 pence unless it's a 10 pence bag of crisp. I don't think they make those anymore. I think 20p now. Absolutely complete. I know it's a, you know, Connect Adventures. It's not going to, you know, it's not Gunstar Heroes, but 10 I mean... Why would you not just buy the game for 10 pence and take a chance on it? I mean, goodness me. The last three games there I've shown you have cost me less. Uh, sorry, three of the last four games I've shown you there, you add all those up together, they've cost me less than a pound. Uh, it's just, you, you can find stuff like that out there. Um, they were all from that independent, apart from the first two I showed you, which was Need for Speed, and uh, those last five there came from that independent uh, little um, cash place as did the PlayStation 1 game. The six of those games cost me £5.34, which um, is about 90p each, or just under 90p each. Cracking. And it's, you know, I've got Skyrim, and I've got Army 2, and i got Halo Combat um, Anniversary Evolved. Brilliant. Uh, Clash Converters, stuff another branch of. This is the club, uh, one of the early games. Uh, when we first got PlayStation 3, <coughs> this was... Oh, Pete, well, that, that was um, that was 50p. I'm just remembering. So I'm, I'm looking at these. And I think I'll play that. Uh, another Connect game, which is Motion Sports Play for real. Uh, this looks like it's actually in an Xbox box, not a 360 box. It's a different colour. You, 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 know, you know, if you sort of like put the two together, slightly different. Doesn't quite look it. We can see there. This one on the left here is the. 361 and that is like yeah you can just see there's a slight difference um all complete everything again that was 50p this is like uh, american football boxing skiing soccer football horseback riding and hand gliding there we go 50p can't go wrong finally on the 360 kane and lynch dead men i know it's not meant to be a particularly good game but i never actually played it when it first came out again 50 pence completely complete completely complete absolutely complete Again, you can't go wrong with that for that price. There. And, and, you know, that's uh, one, two, like ten games for the 360. There, brilliant. Um, let's move on to the PlayStation 2. Uh, you think? Oh, yeah, maybe some charity shop stuff in there. Uh, there was, and um, there is at some point. I'm not, not quite sure when. I'll shout out when I come to it. Um, first up, because you can't beat. The Muppets, Party Crews. Do you remember the Muppets? Do you remember the Muppets originally? That's the other thing. Do you remember the original Muppets back in the 70s? Not the Sesame Street stuff, but the Muppet Muppets. Um, from sort of 77 to 82, 83, I think it was. Um, the, the sort of the reboots and the reworkings haven't quite sort of caught the imagination. It's still the Muppets at the end of the day. This is uh, not a particularly good game at all. I, I've played it briefly i've had a quick look at it online as well it's it's the muppet license more than anything else it's not it doesn't work it's really weird you're playing it's, it's like mario party you know the, the whole uh, all sonic shuffle for those of you who sort of know that one um you're going around a board you're on the dice you move around you play little mini games it doesn't fit the 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 environment i don't know it just doesn't seem right it's just when you just put the Muppets on it and, and sort of said, oh, we'll make a party game around the Muppets and it just didn't work. Um, speaking of, um, yeah, the Polar Express. Well, this probably joins the long list of obscure um, games based on films or films that are so obscure that you've got a game based on it for no other reason than the fact that, you know, Tom Hanks didn't make enough money out of it. There's it, it, also, again, having not played this one just yet, um, but... I know there's, uh, I've watched a couple of videos on it. it it's very like the film. <laughs> we watch the film every year in our house. It's, it's all like a tradition, that and the long kiss goodnight, which are 
um, two film associates Chris which my other half absolutely loves um, yeah I've got sort of grown to love Long Kiss Goodnight I've not really grown to love the Polar Express it's 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 not really my sort of thing um, but it does sort of encapsulate the spirit of Christmas I should say that shouldn't I be paid for it yeah so we'll see how we get on for that one uh, pound each for those two paid uh, Dance Factory which is um, absolutely fascinated by this um, I've got a little Dance UK flyer in there which it's got all these different bits and pieces on it and, and how you can buy I didn't know so much merchandise associated with it like you know dance mats and wireless karaoke microphones gotta keep a look out for those sort of things this game um and in any tradition of, of sort of playing this game which is from codemasters i was even more surprised by that um 50p this game cost as well uh, it actually comes with just five tunes on it um which is i like it i love it uh, performed by tim mcgraw household name in his household um i like the way performed by the body rockers think i've heard that one uh pom de replay performed by rihanna i believe she's where fairly well known uh don't cha by the pussycat dolls and get down on it by calling the gang something for us old people in there um the interesting thing about this game is not the alarming lack of tracks on it which would be a problem in itself but it says dance to your own music cds now this now means I've got to go try and find a dance map from somewhere. I have a dance map, but it's um, a USB one which I can only use on the Wii. To those of you who've been inquiring about all those dance games I've got. This here, Dance for Your Own Music CD, that implies to me that I can put any music CD into this game and it will, um, I read it earlier, generate dance moves from any music CD. Oh yes. Now, do I look like the sort of person who hasn't got obscure CDs of obscure music knocking around? If you have to answer that question with an I don't know, you don't really know me all that well, do you? This might be an interesting thing to see if I can find some pretty obscure music and see what happens. We may come back to that one at some point. That could be the best 50p I've ever spent. Um, RC Sports Copter Challenge. Um, I've got a couple of remote control uh, helicopter games. I don't know. That one, I think, again, was 50, 75p, something like that. Um, Circus Maximus, Chariot Wars, which is actually chariot racing, and this sort of piqued Mrs. Retro Bear's interest. Which actually, that might be quite good, that one. So she's obviously interested in playing it. I think it looks quite good as well, to be honest with you. That's, that's, um, you, you can, I think, read here, um, you can command both player and warrior, um, or let AI drive while you bludgeon. I've always found that's the best option, um, but there we go. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to playing that one again. 50p on that one. Um, maxed out racing. You may notice that's Midas as well. Got quite a few games from Midas this week. Um, you know it's good because maxed is spent with spelt with two X's. You can't be spelt with three X's, otherwise you'd be getting a completely different game. Um, it looks rubbish. <laughs> I'm not saying the other way. It looks rubbish. Um, and these are all out of CEX, by the way. The last one out of CEX uh, was WDL Thunder Tanks. This is the World Destruction League. I know somebody's going to go, oh, that looks quite good. I know who you are. Um, tanks, camera, action. Oh, God. Chuck, Mad Dog Clemens, and Kate Maxwell, who sounds like a newsreader. Uh, 50 pence paid. It's what it is. In it. Um... So there we go. Uh, finally, I picked this one up out of that little um, independent cash place. Just quite pleased to get hold of this one. This is Guitar Hero Rocks the 80s. Um, now, this contains those who played Guitar Hero back in the day, you would have known that a lot of the tracks at the time were not officially licensed. Uh, they were all sort of like um, redo overs. Interesting 80s looking disc there for those of us who used to wear leopard skin print. Not leopard skin print, it's leopard skin. Well, Tiger Prince, I'm guessing back in the 80s. Um, the, the sound, the, 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 the songs include the, 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 the songs uh, Wrathchild, Heat of the Moment, Synchronicity 2, I Ran, No One Like You, Turning Japanese, I Wanna Rock, Holy Diver, Nothing But a Good Time, 17, 
Metal Health, Play With Me, We Got The Beat, which I think is a go-go song, and Caught In A Mosh. Um, so I was actually quite pleased to get that, because I know there were quite a few at the time. Not many of them, quite a few little sort of variations, and there's nothing here about the, um, uh, the actual tracks in there, some of them. But there were quite a couple of little variations released after the first Guitar Hero game, so that was 49 pence. Bargain. Right, on to this week's errors. Know your collection, folks. Snowboard Racer 2, which I already have. have I, why have I bought it twice? Because I already because I forgot to check my list on my phone. No reason. And the only reason I bought it was because I saw there. I think, Snowboard Racer 2, I don't have that one. And I won't even bother looking at my list. Well, there we go. So, um, spare box, possibly. Um, now, also, a bit of a moan as well, and I don't want to sort of see like a moaning at charity shops because I really, really don't want to sort of get into doing that. They they, are, they, they uh, provide a brilliant service. Um, and this week, um, one particular charity shop still does what, yeah, for those, I'm going to go on very, very quickly here, go off a tangent for us UK guys. You know how you buy a game in game? or a second-hand gaming game, they put that stupid little sticker on the outside which basically says, after buying the game and they put the sticker on it, if you take that sticker off, you invalidate the warranty or something like that. Or you can't return it for a refund or, or something stupid. It's the most pointless thing I've ever come across. Another charity shop has started putting stickers on the outside of boxes like this. So you go down here. And what it does implies that the game has now been sealed up and you can't do it. And I did ask when I went in there, can I open this? And I said, no, it's it's been done, it's been sealed, we don't, you know, otherwise we'll do it. So they wouldn't let me open it. So I took a punt on Need for Speed Most Wanted. You can see what's coming here, can't you? Because I haven't got this one. Inside is Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. That's really annoying. That's not the first time that's happened. I bought one from there exactly the same way. There's no flaming disc inside it. Um... And another one which had a wrong disc in it. So yes, I've now got two two complete boxes to play with, or I can try and find a loose copy of that. But it's really annoying, and it's not because I spent you know the huge sum of a pound. Really. That's not to do with it. And the money has gone to charity. So from that point of view, it's not a bad thing. But it, you know, if you are working in these places, you've got to look inside and take care and attention to what you're doing. Because if you start sealing stuff, and we, we're not allowed to open it, you're going to get a lot of stuff returned back anyway. That, that's a small little thing. Look. This is a series of, of, of videos where I go around buying stuff other people doesn't want. Doesn't want? Don't want. You know, I go around buying other people's stuff that they're fed up with and they don't want it anymore. So it's got to, you know, I'm not exactly standing on a high moral ground here, but that is disappointing. Especially because it's a game that I wanted. Had, had, it been, um, had it been that one, I don't think I'd have been too fussed. Anyway last lot for this week uh, which is the Wii which is the biggest one it's still just ahead of the PlayStation 2 that'll catch up with it now can't put those on there because that uh, this PlayStation 2 is slowly catching up to the Wii bear in mind that the Wii had about a 300 head start at one point but there we go um, yeah bit of bit of fodder this week uh, we'll, we'll start off with the good stuff which is Donkey Kong Jungle Beat the new play control um, on there, nicely done, nice on the inside. That was three quid, a bit more than I usually pay for it, but I thought, well, I'll treat myself to something a bit better. Um, yeah, so that, that's a good one there. Um, now we are going on to some real tat now. Let's take the label off that one, there we go. So you can see I've spent 50p on high school musical sing it. Oh dear me. Yes, because I bought a microphone last week. You've seen the Connect stuff, now here's the microphone. Microphone related stuff. Um, yep. Yeah. Whether it actually gets played or not, I don't know. I've never seen High School Musical. You would look surprised. I've never seen any of them. Um, it was actually one game I was going to buy that. <laughs> very, very quick story. Uh, I was going to buy one game um, earlier on this week. Um, which said, it was in Disney Sing It Pop Hits or something. Which actually wasn't a bad title. It's got a mixture of some other non sort of Disney uh, songs on it. And it was a CX one and they couldn't find it. And the bloke said, I can't find that one. I sort of looked at him, I said, do I look particularly disappointed that you can't find it? Um, yeah, I was actually, because there's some good tracks on that one. I'll find it again. But... Right, um, more Disney Sing It. This is High School Musical 3, which now means I've completed. Because I've got High School Musical Dance as well. 
I love me high school musical me I really do oh, God, this tape. I thought I peeled the labels off these there we go Oh dear me. Um, so there we go, show the back of that one. Yeah, for disc inside stuff. Um, yeah. For some reason, two safety manuals in there as well. I don't know. Perhaps it should come with extra caution. I really don't know. Um, yeah, another microphone game, the X Factor. Oh dear me. There are quite a few um, sort of tracks on this one. I'm going to whiz through them very, very quickly. Paparazzi, boys and girls, call me, break your heart, evacuate the dance floor, beautiful day, in your arms, so sol es blieben, release me, heavy cross, teenage kicks, ruby, you're beautiful, can't get you out of my head, Rio, which is an unlockable track, I, I'm... That's uh, the Duran Duran song. Um, I want you back. Always be my baby. Light my fire. Back to black, which is also unlockable. Oops, I did it again. Unlockable. Doesn't mean anything. She's the one. Up. 22. Don't you forget about me. Radio Gaga. Unlockable. All night long. Unlockable. That's Lionel Rich, isn't it? All night long. And Fireflies. So it's a decent track list. Um, I don't think Simon Cowell's going to be particularly worried that uh, he's going to unearth the musical talent here. Be interesting. 50p paid. Uh, Bionicle Heroes, uh, which I own on the PlayStation 2. Uh, all complete as well. That was 75p. And a real find. Um, I already own this game, but I've never actually seen this complete set before. Um, usually when you go into somewhere like CEX and you sort of, they sort of list it, the game with the microphone, it is the game with the microphone. And you think, hang on a second, there must be some sort of packaging that sort of came with this sort of thing at some point. Or you can see the title of it there, that's spoilt it a bit, hasn't it? Boogie Superstar with the microphone. Um, it's also got a, um, I'm not going to take it out because there's a little bit of a tear on the top there. I don't want the completists having heart attacks um, by me sort of trashing something. Um, there's a, a sort of a, um, it's a singing and dance game, you can do singing and dancing, so I think the first one was just possibly both actually, maybe while well, I'm not talking complete crap. Um, yes, uh, yes, there's like a, a little a manual type thing in there which gives you an idea of the moves. The game's in there, I've checked it, it's got a huge long list of today's biggest hits made popular by top artists. Um, Angel, Pocket of Sunshine, Love Like This, Hot and Cold, Don't Stop the Music, When You Look Me in the Eyes, SOS, That's Just the Way We Roll, Hold On, Toxic, Peace of Me, Radar, Stronger, No One, He Said, She Said, Glamorous, Girlfriend, Makes Me Wonder, Won't Go Home, Without You, Dance Dance, Thanks for the Memories, um, that's spelt with text speak, I don't think I know that one. A potential breakup song like Woe, Bullseye, Every Time We Touch, What Hurts the Most, Shake It, and Nine in the Afternoon, plus ten more. Wow, you get your value for money for that. That, my friend, was two pounds, which I thought was an absolute bargain. Um, I've not seen it before as complete as that. Um, a stupidity that if I'd actually hung on a week, it actually comes with a microphone, which is what I was after in the first place. Not to bother, not to worry. It's it's it looks pretty much clean. There's a little bit of um, sort of like grounding dirt going across there. Like I said, a little tear at the top there. But I think for a couple of nicker, can't go wrong with that, can you? So possibly that might have been the find of the weekend. I hear you say, oh no, 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 no. You can't see that. That's got a green light on it. This is you might have guessed. Um, it's for the week. This is a, an official Star Wars lightsaber attachment for your Wii remote, which you can see is in there, and it's freaking cool. Um, I've actually got two of these on 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 um, a Wii value version. I think there's a red one and a blue one. I don't know how it works, but I've got um, the Lego Clone Wars. I don't know, I've got the Lego. I've got the Star Wars Clone Wars games, which I think is lightsaber jewels, and the other one which I can't remember, it's over there, I'm not going to look behind me, and also Star Wars Un uh, Force Unleashed 1 and 2. 
So it may work with some of those games. Obviously, they wouldn't have made the attachment if they had done 50p paid, um, and even the guy in CEX said it's pretty damn cool. So I'm going to call that my my find of the week because it was really. I'd, I'd, I'd actually sort of done a bit of research beforehand, and I thought, if he's got it, I'm going to have it. And I did, and I have. It works really well in the light, actually, in the light off. Can I turn the light off? Go on. So we can do the rest of the video like this if you wish me to, Zeus, to do so. I don't know. We'll have to see, won't we? Anyway, <laughs> I'm trying to look at the best way to do this. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks very much for watching this incredibly surreal video. Uh, I must apologise, I've had about three hours sleep in the last 36 hours. If you come across as a bit wacky, don't worry. Back to normal form very, very soon. Thank you very, very much for watching, as always. Do hit the subscribe, like, comment, do what you need to do. Spread the word. It's great to see uh, hear from you. It's great to hear the feedback. It's really good that you're out there watching these. And it makes it more exciting for me as well because it gives me a purpose it actually gives me a purpose to go out the weekend and find stuff that i can show to you and again big thank you to everybody who watched the n64 video that's now going to inspire me to do the rest of my collection um starting off with the the old consoles with the mega drive mass system things like that the more i've got for it obviously the longer the video but that's really really uh, taken off really really well i'm really pleased with response for that right i'm off um yes i'm going to go and sort of um sort out some stormtroopers and bits and pieces and have some tea and a lie down in a dark room thank you very much for watching oh, there we go. Sorry, right in my eyes. there we go thanks very much for watching we'll see you again soon bye for now